in Maine weather in a few minutes. Thank you. Right now, some developing news we're also following tonight. We're learning a lot more right now about a mother accused of killing her three children. And police are telling us that she strangled them and then killed herself. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Christian Colon spoke to the father and friends of the family. He is joining us live in Danbury with the very latest. Christian. Yeah, the father tells me they were a very happy family and he can't believe what happened. He is asking for privacy at this time. But tonight we are learning that the woman was a babysitter. And if you take a look behind me, you can see a giant memorial that is being placed right now. You can see some people uh, putting adding balloons right there. And some of the people that are showing up to this were parents that would hire this woman and trusted this woman to take care of their kids. A community surprised and shaken after police say 36-year-old Sonia Loja killed her three children, 12-year-old Junior Panjon, 10-year-old Jocelyn Panjon, and 5-year-old Jonael Panjon. We all played together, tag, and we had a good bond together. Shayla was the 10-year-old's friend. They went to school together and summer camp. You're a good, loving heart person. You, you're really good at everything. Like. I wish I saw you one more time, but I can't. Sonia Loja was the family babysitter. Sheila's mom, Gabriela, says she was great with kids. Several parents we met tonight would also leave their children with Loja. The last time she took care of my son was in June because um, she called that day saying that somebody told on her at the state that she was taking care of children that she needed a license or to be certified, something like that, and that she can't take care of the children anymore. Police are still trying to figure out a motive, and so is Mila Reynoso, another family friend. Normal, los hijos felices. Mila says the family was happy, and she wishes she would have been even closer to the victims, and maybe she could have helped. But tonight, experts say it's not that easy. Spending time and listening to each other could possibly help catch a red flag. I just don't know what, what happened, why did she need help? And like Abrella, many parents in the district are having tough conversations with their little ones about the loss of their classmates. Dr. Laura Saunders says parents should speak in simple, fact-based terms. What I would want parents in this situation to avoid is a lot of conjecture, like maybe they did it for this reason or maybe they did it for that reason. Um, I don't know that that's helpful for uh, dealing with any anxiety or worry that comes up for kids. And if you feel upset or hopeless, there is help out there. You can call the brand new National Crisis Hotline at 988. They also have services in Spanish. Again, just call 988. In Danbury tonight, Christian Colon, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.